whistleblowers have been critical to the civil justice system for people like those that we represent. And I can give examples. There, are, uh, there was a movie uh, called The Insider, and one of the characters uh, was uh, actually my partner, Ron Motley, um, played by Bruce McGill. And uh, uh, it was all about a whistleblower coming out of the tobacco industry and making public information that the tobacco industry wanted to make sure would never come out. That information became the cornerstone of a nationwide litigation that ultimately ended up in a $48 billion resolution for state's attorneys general against the tobacco industry. And the whole point of that litigation was to get information like that which the whistleblower brought out, Wigan, Charles Wigan, get that information out to the public so the public can make its own mind up. And to be more simplistic, people smoke today. People smoke. It's a choice. They make their own choices. But how can you make a decision about anything? Smoking, what type of contraceptive to use, how can you make any decisions about anything if you're not fully informed? So as a result of the tobacco litigation, again, which was cornerstoned on information that was liberated by a whistleblower, we now have websites that are dedicated to posting all of that information about how the industry marketed its products, who they marketed it to, what their views were about the dangers of that product. All of that tobacco information is now publicly available online. So if you smoke today, that's your right. That's what people can and cannot choose to do in our country, and that's fine. But at least you get to know what the information is behind it. At least you get to know that the tobacco industry knew for 50 years and more of the health effects of smoking. And if you choose to do it, that's your choice. But to be deprived of that information in making that choice is, um, is something that our system is designed to, um, to alleviate. It is designed to rectify. 